Take this. That's for you. No, 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 And that's your season over. So let's see how much we can get built this season. We have a month to not only survive, but also to explore this epic server. Welcome to One Shot. Ooh, some pants. Yeah, those oh, should help um, you get started. Thank you, thank you, but thank you. But uh, if you need any directions to where to get more armor, we can absolutely help with that. We do know the number of people who are dead, though, if you just look over there. <sighs> 10. Mm. I know they keep. Oh! You have Elytra, Wait. So it's. But why is it play. going 10 to 11? Because you might die at any second. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it's just preparing for your death. Well, this is. This is a little foreshadowing. Holy Yeah, heck Dave it. built the sign and he foreshadowed his own death yesterday. Alright, so we are going to be stunning ourselves off. Oh! There's, there's literally a bed here, Stella. But we're gonna go ahead and do all the normal things that happen in hardcore. So we have ourselves a bit of a food source, at least for the moment. We have 22 potatoes. Uh, I will try and nab ourselves. Oh, I see some furnaces over there. Let's go nab some furnaces. We are gonna be working on attempting to get ourselves set up. So as you guys may have seen, we have got ourselves some pantalones and we have ourselves a totem and 11 enderpearls. So we now have some food, courtesy of Fluff, decided to give us 36 golden carrots, which is very appreciated. We've got seven spruce logs and we have a stick, which means that we can go make our very first pickaxe. So here we are, we have the villagers down here and we are gonna be using these guys. My guy, what are you doing standing on your head? What on earth is, is that a, is that a little, a little hint towards us Australians being upside down. All right, I see it. I see it, I respect it. Now I'm just gonna spend a bunch of time grinding out some wood to get us a whole bunch more emeralds whilst I just stand around here. So I will bring you guys back in after this. So after a bit of tree chopping, it looks like we have two stacks of emerald tea, which should be able to get us a full set of diamond gear from these guys. Oh, feather for like three as well. Perfect. So we already have ourselves some pantalones, but I think just for the fact that I want to make sure that we do this all correctly, we're going to grab ourselves some pantaloons. We're going to grab ourselves some boots, a helmet and a chest plate, because if you guys know anything about the Australian ping, our ping can be really bad, which means that we actually do have a little bit of a lag issue here on our end. Now, this is not that anything to do with the server. This is just a simply an Australian issue, which means we are going to be putting on that chess piece so that we can remain a little bit safer. But that is perfect. We've got ourselves all completely diamonded up already. What is it? Like with like a couple of hours, if that, onto the server? What? So after yesterday's uh, crazy stream, ah, uh, ah, uh, Dame! Dude! <laughs> Yeah, you, you saw that. You saw that right. Dame tried to kill me, and that means we now have two totems of undying, one in our offhand and one on our main hand, just in case he decides to be an absolute goofball and come back again. So after that, we ended up getting ourselves pretty well sorted. We do need to do a few more enchants. Um, we need to get sharpness on this sword. And I believe that we need to upgrade a few bits and pieces more. But so far, we're doing pretty well. And I decided instead of a normal little house, I'm actually gonna make a cute little wagon. Uh, I think we can actually put it over closer to the spawns because there is a bunch of people building over at spawn and I think it might be a cute little thing to do over there. So let's grab ourselves some more materials and we will go take our traveling little wagon over to spawn. I just saw Zesty coming in. 
Zesty is being a little menace and followed me all the way over here to spawn as well. Mm, looks like we're safe this time. Looks like we are safe. So I've decided that I'm going to be sitting up here in spawn just on this little flat here. I thought it'd be kind of cute. We are behind Mr. Matt Ranger's house over here. And I think this is his line of where he's going to be placing his build. So I think just up here would be kind of cute for Stella to build in a, a little wagon rolling on up onto the one shot server and from there we will go and build our actual base for this season ah, I, just, I knew it was gonna happen i told you guys this is what he's been doing the whole day oh my goodness <laughs> what do you mean i'm right here i'm totally alive and well right y you got you guys good there <laughs> Hello, one-shot player that Damon and Jamal have randomly come up to. How are you today? <laughs> what is even this? <laughs> so unfortunately, IRL stuff kind of happened last night, and I didn't get a chance to show you guys what we did in the episode or be between the streams. But let me show you right now. We ended up getting this wagon here started and we decided to opt for a wagon rather than a starter house just because it was something a little different and generally I kind of stick to the same same and I wanted to break out of that mold this time. So here we have the start of the wagon. We have a dead tree fall on over here which actually gives us the ability to jump straight onto the wagon. As you can see, we currently have no roof because roof lines were just a little too difficult for Stella last night. But we're gonna add in some copper roofing tonight and finish off the top of this wagon and decorating the sides. But for the moment, we need to deviate away from this task and actually get ourselves set up back over at the Cottage Core Girls area. So as you can see, we have a few clerics here. We have Grum and Grum there. And then we have two down this side as well as around this side. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, perfect. All right. Can do I have enough? Oh, I don't have enough blocks. Oh, yes, I do to block you in. Perfect. Um, so this guy is going to be one of our traders. So we have the rotten flesh and we also have gold, which allows us to get emeralds. And for our upcoming build, we are going to need a lot, a lot of quartz. So getting emeralds is going to be the best way of getting the quartz. We also might need to go do a quick detour into the nether to get more blaze rods so we can get more of these little guys ready to go as well. So there we are. We have got the wagon now completed. I don't know if I've showed you guys the inside. We have got Mr. Snow Golem here who is providing us with all the snow and the layers that we are going to need for our next build. We have the beautiful Iondas who gave us a rose earlier. Wow. She's so sweet. I absolutely adore her face. And then we have Jester's precious terracotta that was gifted to us a little while ago. We close the door, we have got a very simple furnace uh, and then we've got our storage up on this side. It is a very small space. So as the person who I am IRL, I love plants. And we have got a little hanging plant section on this side. It just felt fitting. So here we are, we are about to build a little hammock here behind me. And I thought we would expand out our little side from the wagon. So let's go ahead and add in a few blocks. We're gonna put down a, we got a barrel there and I think we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six and a barrel there. And we're gonna add another four on this side. And then we're gonna get some chickens. We're gonna steal them from the top of Matt's build. There they are. <laughs> And we're going to use these as some leads to hold up the hammock so that we're structurally sound. So we put another barrel there. There is our chicken that we need. So we can go pop down, grab this guy, and then connect the lead up to the top. So it gives this little string type of feel on the edges which I think is really cute and just that tiny little detail. I just noticed his little wing is flapping through the corner of the block so we're definitely gonna have to fix that. Let's go grab some dirt and then all we have to do is add in a cyan bed which I think will go better with our little roof here. At least the color will be matching 
But I think for a little hammock, this is adorable. Milu was chasing me. I don't know why. I saw, I saw you, you guys coming from all the way over there and coming through. Take this. That's for you. No, 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 You enjoy that now, Stella. You enjoy that, got Apple now. No, Dan, Dan, You enjoy that. I'll be seeing you now. No, 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 no. I'll be seeing you now, Stella. I feel like I shouldn't have said anything when you were coming through. Oi, 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 oi. You enjoy that now. Q. No, Dan. No, Dan. That's your apple. Ah, that's a nice place. Oh, what's Where did it wait, go? Is this a... What's this? It's a wagon. No, this uh, right here. That block under the ladder. This one? No, like underneath the... Like right under the ladder, this one. Oh! Aha, you enjoy that. No, 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 Dan. You enjoy that apple Dan, now. Dan, 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 <laughs> You're fine. Thank you. Okay, the rules of the god apples clearly state that once given a your next apple, you must accept. <sighs> okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's right. That's right. Now you enjoy that, all right? All right, all right. I will. <laughs> I'll be seeing you now, Stella. You enjoy that god apple now. All right, I will. Bye. We have now have and a chance to go to apple. Thank you to the amazing Toadan. I do apologize. I realized that a lot of the recording at the start of this video was a little grainy. Unfortunately, OBS decided to yeet its settings whilst I was away, and I don't know why, but we are fixed. We should be back in clear, crisp quality now, and let's get back to the rest of the episode with, with the chickens surrounding us. I have always wanted to do a particular build. It caught my eye, the graphic art, so long ago, and I have found finally the perfect spot and the perfect time to get this build going. And we are going to be building right in this gorgeous area. So step one of what we're going to need to do is clear out a little bit more of this area. So I'm going to do a bit of tree chopping. And as you can see, Stella's new house area is ready here. We've got the pumpkin, uh, I'm sorry, melon area uh, currently set up here just to uh, make sure everyone knows that this is Stella's place. Well, we have finished up, well, uh, what is going to be initially the first structure here. We've also added in a portal so that we can get to and from the nether roof. So there we go. It's just a big circle. This is going to be the base of what is going to be the start of, I believe, four buildings that are going to be in this area. And I have also gone over to the wagon and taken all of the materials that we're going to need for the roof. The only material that is left is glazed purple terracotta because I absolutely adore it. And it is going to be the nice color down the, the bottom of this gradient. So we're going from... Packed ice, blue ice, cyan, up to the amethyst, and then the purple concrete powder, and then eventually the glazed purple terracotta. But unfortunately, folks, I think that's all we got for today. Um, I did want to make this video longer, but unfortunately, the last week has kind of gone really quickly. Getting set up and everything on the server, uh, I really appreciate everyone hanging out until the very end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the like button down below. It does help me out a bunch. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. As our little uh, outro would say, bye guys.